you'll have all the factor by grouping, GCS, ABC method, and we have a few other methods coming up. So it's all going to be mixed up. All right, so here we go. Definitely not a quadratic, right? It's not an x squared x constant. So what's my GCF? First of all, look at the constants. What will go into all those numbers? 2. Now, look at your x's. Just an x and then a y. So, what's left in the first term? 6x squared. 6x squared. How about the second? Minus 11x. And then plus 4. Plus 4. Took the x and the y. You with me so far? Let's work on this. Got to ignore my GCF there. What's AC equal? 24. <coughs> B is? Negative 11. Now remember, this sign tells me they're the same and they're both? Negative. Negative. So 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6, and 5 doesn't go to it, I'm back at 6. Done. <laughs> now I know they're both negative. So which ones add to be negative 11? Three and eight of eight. So I have six x squared minus three x minus eight x plus four. Line down the middle. What can I pull out of the front? Three x. All I'm left with two x minus one. Over here, what I have to pull out? Negative four. Now when I divide by negative four, I'm with positive two x minus one. 4 divided by negative, negative. Pull out 2x minus 1, 3x minus 4, but don't forget that 2xy that you initially have in front. It's still in front. Voila. <coughs> now I saw a couple people on the quiz here. For some reason, do you see this first term is positive? So I'm going to factor out a positive number. Some of you were trying to like factor out negatives when there was no need to factor out negatives. The only one that first